is up guys and welcome to squared circle addicts how the hell are you it's been a long time since you've seen my face on this channel but today or this weekend i should say i'm out of town back home visiting family visiting friends and i'm currently using my bestie's phone to get this video to you guys and speaking of my bestie it's my bestie right here so introduce yourself hi everyone i'm sol from the channel solar visions so if you guys are into what do you do on your channel like everything a little bit of everything book reviews she does like vlogs and like the day of the life of uh, the day in the <laughs> life of a visually impaired person i'm tongue twisted today she does a lot of things so if you're into that sort of thing check out her channel i'll be sure to leave a link down below in the descriptions but anyway i thought it would be a really cool opportunity to do something cool which is to test my best friend on my favorite wrestling thing so let's see how much my best friend knows about me and my wrestling and the people that i love and things like that so i think this should be fun so the first question is best friend yes the first question is name at least three of my favorite wrestlers uh ruby riot yes shana baszler yes and bailey yes best for last i like how you did that <laughs> okay um next question name since you did all women Oh, no. Name three of my favorite dude wrestlers. Dude wrestlers. Uh, See if you can do this. Finn Balor. Yes. One. Ricochet. One. I mean, he's in like top 20, so I guess I'll give you that. Uh, okay, let's see if I can think of another one. The that guy from the Team Little Big. No? Nope. Braun Strowman is unfortunately not one of my favorite wrestlers. Okay. Come on, you should know this. Think about it. Who am I, like, really jealous of right now? Like, I wish I was him, you know? I think we <laughs> all wish we were him. Uh, Seth Rollins? Yes! There you go. I helped you out on that one um, a little bit. But, I mean, somebody. you named three already, so it's fine. But... What was the other one? Technically, Ricochet really isn't in my... He's, like, in my... He's in my top ten, I guess. So I, I guess I could give you a pass. But for those of you that might be wondering... Who are your favorite dude wrestlers? My number one guy is Johnny Gargano. Oh. Then it's Finn Balor. Then it's Seth Rollins. Not Seth Rollins, sorry. Then it's Daniel Bryan. Then it's Kevin Owens. And then Seth Rollins. So those are my my top five dude wrestlers. All right, okay, okay. <laughs> this one should be easy. I mean, it really should be easy. And if you... I won't give you grief for saying certain names either. But... Name three female wrestlers that I fancy, that I find attractive. Um, Becky Lynch. Yes! Who doesn't find the man attractive? By the way, <laughs> I wish Becky Lynch would impregnate me too. Shout out to Maria <laughs> Canales, because girl, I feel you. I get it. I get it. See ya. Maria Ripley. Yes! Aussie, Aussie, oi, oi. By the way, if you guys haven't checked out her match with Piper Niven from this week's NXT UK, definitely do that. Great match. Two of my faves. Yeah. And I'm kind of scared for the last one. I mean, I want to say it. Go ahead and fucking say it. I have a feeling like I know what you might say. Uh, Ruby Riot. Ruby Riot. Yes. I think I thought you were gonna say someone else. I thought you were gonna put me on blast on YouTube. I mean, it's not oh, really okay. putting me on blast. Yeah, never mind. I people, about people them. know who it is. I mean, like my shirt. Look, I'm already putting myself on blast today. Shayna, if you're watching this, I love you, girl! I'm a Shayna sexual. Always will be. Always. Always. Um, okay, let's, let's see. Let's see. What else can I ask you? Ooh! Name at least one wrestler that I cannot stand. At least one. One. I know you know the answer to this, too. But you should. Uh, Naya. Yes. Nia Jax, boo! You, Nia Jax. <laughs> May you have a speedy recovery and come back to the ring soon because I wouldn't want you to be out for too long. But aside from that, I don't like you. Your character is very bland to me. It's very confusing. The whole irresistible force thing is not believable to me because Bailey choked her ass out in NXT. 
And not only that, but you are prone to injuring people, so I definitely think that she needs to work on her wrestling skill before she goes back into the ring. Um, okay, let me see. What else can I ask you? What else can I ask you? Ooh, ooh. This one might be a little bit tough. Um, you don't have to get the exact pay-per-view that it happened on or anything like that, but if you could at least name the two competitors that competed in what I'm about to ask you, then I'll give you a pass. What is my absolute favorite match of all time? Wait, okay. I may not know the name, but um, I think it was something Brooklyn. And hey! It was you do know this. Bailey and Sasha? Yes! NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, Bailey versus Sasha Banks for the NXT Women's Championship. Uh, in my honest opinion, I still think that that match is the best, not only women's match, but match of all time in recent memory, at least for me. Like, watching that match made me go, this is why I still watch wrestling. This is, this is what made me fall in love with wrestling. So, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of more questions. Okay, the last and final one. Who is the wrestler that inspired me to start a YouTube channel slash podcast? Okay, so this is kind of a tricky one because I know that your all-time favorite wrestler is Bailey. Yes. But you kind of started falling back in love with wrestling when uh, Becky Lynch started getting, you know, uh, more of a following, started getting more opportunities yes 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 and yes see here's the thing guys and I've made myself perfectly clear about this before I have never been like a hardcore hardcore Becky Lynch fan and that's not to say that I didn't follow her journey in NXT when she was like you know that Irish river dancer and then became the Irish last kicker and then became Smackdown's inaugural women's champion and then for a while she got stuck in catering talking about how much she loved quinoa Right? And people forgot about who the hell she was. Uh, but with me, when she got back into the whole, you know, like, when she betrayed Charlotte at, what was it, uh, was it Hell in a Cell? When she, like, when it was that triple threat with uh, Charlotte and Carmella, I believe it was Hell in a Cell. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but when she, when she pretty much turned on Charlotte, how the crowd was supposed to boo her, at least that's what WWE thought, and then that obviously didn't happen. And she became what we know today as the man. Um, I think it's absolutely incredible what she's been able to do in such a short period of time. I know some people may disagree with me, but I wholeheartedly believe that she is the top of the business. Like, she literally is the man. Like, if you've watched Raw in the last past two or three weeks, she's getting louder pops than our WWE Universal Champion. She is inserted into a storyline with the WWE Universal Champion, and I know some people might think, oh, well, that's unfair to say because it's her boyfriend or whatever, but it's like, think about it, you know, you have Becky out there like, hi, Chulo! <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this, but her dog is sitting on her lap, and he's a cutie. Come here! No, 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 he's not having it. But anyway, like I was saying, I think it's amazing how, in a way, like, the roles have been reversed because Becky is kind of saving Seth's ass instead of the other way around. And in previous times, that's how it's been for the WWE, you know? And I just think it's really cool that they're putting all this trust in a woman to carry the company. And I, I don't know, I think, it's, I think it's great. I think it's awesome. But I don't know, do I have any more questions for you? Oh, this is a good one. And I'll end it with this. This one's a little bit tricky because I don't even know if any of you know this. But who currently has my favorite theme song in WWE? Oh, no. I'll give you a hint. They're, they're one of my faves. They're one of my faves. Becky? She has a great theme song that, whoa, that's, in my, that's like in my top three. But who has like my all-time fave? I want to see Bailey, but I don't think it's Bailey. No, Bailey. Bailey is easily in my like top ten, but definitely. Did I mention them earlier? Yes, you did. Ruby. No, you're close no. though. You're close. You're close. Same initials, by the way. That might have given it away for some of you. R and R. Well, who has who has double R? 
Roman, but no. No, 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 Roman, Roman Reigns. Whoa, guys. No, 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 no. But this proves that she actually knows a lot of wrestling. Is name she's going to talk about wrestling? We, we, like, rant to each other about, like, what I'm into, and then you rant to me yeah. what you're into. Yeah, and I'm always bitching about certain things, like the creative process. Ronda Rousey, no. No, she's not no, no, no. Anymore. Right now, she's Same not initials, though? Movie. Same initials. Same initials, I think. And I mentioned them? You mentioned them. I think they're attractive. I'll have her babies. Oh, um, re Ripley. There you go. Did I just say that on camera? I'll have her babies? Oh, fuck it. I haven't I mean, you said it before. I'd have her babies. Yeah, but not on camera. <laughs> Rhea Ripley has BDE, you guys. <laughs> but anyway, okay, this video is getting out of hand. But I'm going to conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I did. This was a little fun, thrown together thing. Uh, Thank you so for joining me again. Thanks for having me. Do you want to give your social media stuff so, out? Um, Twitter, Instagram, all that shit. So on Twitter, I believe it's at un, um, sun underscore Muro, M-U-R-O. And then it's the same thing on Instagram. And then as always, you guys know me on Twitter and Instagram. It's greatlove91. Feel free to chat with me about wrestling and everything in between. Uh... Heads up, you guys, there will be more content coming to this channel because one of two things is about to happen when I go back home. I am either going to get a completely brand new phone, an iPhone 8, finally, and if that doesn't work out, I'm going to get a 64 gigabyte chip for my current phone, which means I will have so much more memory and I'll be able to do lots more things, and I'm super stoked because I already have, like, ideas up the wazoo for this channel so look out for that and uh you guys have a happy and safe fourth of july drink responsibly don't do too much stupid shit i mean you could be kind of stupid but at least be stupid responsibly okay don't be blowing up things uh just be safe and uh stay happy but as always most importantly stay addicted to the squared circle all right guys bye